Well, this is a very impressive building towering over us. And it's on the end as well, so it's going to be dual aspect inside, which will be incredible. We're already elevated, and once we get up there, goodness me, what we're going to see. It's strange also, like the door right on the corner. It seems really odd, you know? They also expect the door to be further in. It's a very, very handsome looking thing, isn't it? Yeah, I can see all the original details up in that window as well. Shall we go take a look? Let's do it. Impressive staircase. It's absolutely incredible the way it sweeps up. And all those pictures, imagine dusting those. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way the colors in here have been carried through from outside. You notice that big front door, it was sort of black and had the brass details, and that's in here as well. I love the anaglypta wallpaper. I'm a big fan of painted anaglypta. It looks brilliant when you paint it dark in a kind of semi gloss. In fact, I love it so much, I was thinking of changing my name to anaglypta. What do you think? <laughs> Ms. Glipta. This is just blowing me away. I think this is incredible. Everything, the colours, the decoration. Are you going to ring the bell? Oh, yeah. To celebrate. <laughs> hey! Look at all the details on the frames as well. Do you know, I think it's such a lovely thing to do, to have all your family pictures on a stair. It's like the story of their life, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite a menagerie, isn't it? I've wasted <laughs> no space. <laughs> so we got like two purple swans and a quarter of a zebra. We get half a window. Oh! <laughs> Being guarded by this terracotta warrior oh, this here. It's really, really interesting that you get the, you know, there's a full window, so you have the window on the outside doing one thing and the stairs just running right by it. Mm, it's all about preserving the elevation, yeah. isn't it, Michael? Yeah. <laughs> And now the fun begins. <laughs> oh, that is gorgeous. Goodness me. I'm not afraid of being bold in this home, are they? Yeah, it's kind of gone from like granny chic to like a tropical jungle up here. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Do you know what I've noticed? That the black and the gold, which we saw right from the start, seems to have featured in every other room to a certain extent. Mm. We've still got it here, yet the room is a completely different character. Yeah, that's really clever, isn't it? It's like they've worked with a, with a palette and then modulated it to create different atmospheres in the home. You come all the way up here, it's like tropical rainforest. I feel like they've just let themselves loose. It feels as if we've ended up in the top of the tree. Yeah. <laughs> master bedroom. Look at this. Oh, it's a very French boudoir, oh, isn't it? I know, I feel like I'm in Provence. Do you like the, uh, the birds on the wall? I can imagine Napoleon and Josephine being very comfortable in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, one each. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> just, about, just about to fit this one. You could get. Oh, uh, don't burn your head. <laughs> this home has really set us up for seeing things that are a little bit quirky and inventive. Um, and this is an absolutely classic example, isn't it? I mean, hats, lights. Why not? Who knew? <laughs> I think when you take on an old building, particularly a building of a, a sort of an era that we identify, Victorian, Georgian, whatever, already comes with a certain tone. So I think it becomes incredibly important about getting in tune with the building. And there is no question that the homeowners here have done just that. When we walked in, there was instantly so much to talk about. We were completely wowed straight away. It had like a like a granny chic. It was quite like a cottage downstairs. And as we got higher up, we got all this personality. There was just so much packed in. And um, it got more vibrant, it got more creative. I've got to hand it to them. It was really, really impressive. Although the colour schemes through the home are sort of underpinned by the black and gold, they've gone off piece in the different rooms. So in here we've got this like lush green. The bedrooms are sort of soft colours. One of the spare rooms is pink and yellow. It's really witty and fun and personal. They've sort of stamped their personality on this really rather splendid building, but without compromising it. Mm -hmm.